Why should I even practice for the MCAS? And who cares if I get advanced? As long as I'll pass, I'll be fine. I know, and I really want to focus on college. I mean, just as long as I graduate. But MCAS doesn't really help with college at all. I know. Um, how about some in-state tuition for free? Free? Free. Have you heard about this? No. If you score in the top percentile in MCAS, you can get the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. What's that? Who, is, who are those people? Why don't you mosey on down to the history department and figure it out for yourselves? Let's go. Reading up on uh, my wheel, actually. Oh, does it end good? Is that a serious question? No. Okay, good. All right. What can I do for you? Well, we were just practicing for MCAS, and our teacher told us about this scholarship. Oh, you must mean the John and Abigail Adams scholarship. Yes. Well, what can that do for us? Well, the John and Abigail Adams scholarship uh, will give you free tuition for four years at any Massachusetts state college or university. To get the scholarship, you must you score either advanced in both categories or advanced and proficient in English and mathematics on the MCAS in 10th grade. Wow. You also must be in the top 25% of your district. So it's very prestigious. Right. <laughs> Why did you create it? Created it because kids are smart. But wait, is that it? Here's the catch. You must maintain a 3.0 grade point average throughout your college career for four years, as long as they attend right as they get out of high school. Wow, thanks, John Adams. Yeah, thanks a lot. No problems, children. Oh, Abigail, Abigail. I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Abigail, these are my friends. Uh, Emmanuel and Pablo. <laughs> What are you doing? We have a show to tape in like five minutes. What are you wearing? Sorry. <laughs> it's me, John. I'm sorry. I thought you were John Adams. It's still useful information. You and your identity crisis. 